Hi, I'm Caden with RMUS here with the Autil Dragonfish with the new DG L20T payload. Here, let's take a look. The L20T payload features a 12 megapixel wide angle RGB sensor, a 4K RGB sensor with a 20 time optical zoom, a 640 by 512 resolution infrared thermal sensor, as well as a laser rangefinder. So now that we know some of the specs behind the L20T, Let's put in the air and look at some of the more advanced features behind the payload. So now we have the dragonfish up in the air and we're here on the screen of the controller taking a look at the zoom wide and infrared cameras as well as the laser rangefinder. Right here you're seeing me track a cow. Right here we see we're in the zoom mode. Um, over there onto the left you see the 26.6 time. That's how far in we're zoomed so we're just past that optical zoom into the digital zoom. I can fight it a little bit by zooming out. Now we're in our optical zoom range at 4.5 times. So here we're about 19.5, almost that 20 time optical zoom. So we're right at the edge of our optical zoom. We can still see the clear, crisp image, crisp edges of that cow, um, very clean, clear picture. Um, there is the option to go all the way up to 240 times digital zoom, just to show you real quick. That zoomed all the way in. You can see the flies on the back of that cow almost. At least you can see the grass there. But the AI is getting kind of lost, not knowing what's going on. So I'm going to zoom back out real quick and box our target again. And you saw that was an automatic zoom because of the AI. If we switch over to the wide just to see what it looks like. There you go. That cow in the middle is the one we're tracking. Pop back into the zoom just to make sure we're still on it. From there you can choose which one to view between the wider the thermal if you are in the zoom and as you go through each one they change. Now if we look at the infrared a little bit with this know that everything is a digital zoom as well as you have a bunch of different color palettes. We can see that it is giving us the temperature reading right there in the center of the screen about 126 25 degrees on that cow. You can tap anywhere on the screen and it'll pull that temperature range for you. You also have some other options up there at the right, top or right of the screen. That's showing within that range the hottest and coldest objects. You can open that up. And showing that the cow is the coldest because it is kind of hot outside. And lastly, to show you the laser rangefinder function of the L20T, we see up here in the top center of the screen, there's the information box. Going from the left to the right, we see the distance of a, about 570 feet and that's from the drone to that cow that we're filming here. The MSL of the cow, so the mean sea level of the cow, which is showing about 4,200 feet, give or take. The next section, you have your latitude and longitude. And then we see the speed there off to the right of the info box, showing about one to two miles an hour of this cow's movement. That's kind of a rough estimate based off of the latitude, longitude, GPS of the aircraft, as well as what it's seeing. So that was a quick look at the DG L20T payload with the Dragonfish made by Autel. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to sales at armus.com and we'll see you guys on the next one.